hello hello everyone and uh, welcome back to this channel today we're gonna play industria it's uh it's a game that it's uh, located in east germany east berlin more precisely during the cold war but with a plot twist basically it's like in a parallel universe or something like that so i don't know what's that about i saw some screen sh screenshots and uh everything looks kind of interesting so without further you know, delays. Let's dig into the game. Hello? Nora Solheim here. Nora, where have you been? Walter? Wait, I just came in from the office. I just fell asleep on the sofa. I'm always dreaming of really weird things. Are you still in the office working? Yes, uh, I saw you leaving. Listen, our central processing unit, Atlas, is out of control. I just discovered parts of it all over our servers. We'll just shut it down then. Impossible. It's spread too far already. But there is something else. People are gathering at the checkpoint Bornholmer Strasse. It's happening. Conrad Schabowski publicly said that the wall is open in a press conference just one hour ago. Wait, what? They closed down the office. The Stasi is already here. They are taking everything apart. But all the work, it can't be for nothing. Nora, I have to stop Atlas. Wait, let me come over. We'll figure it out. No, I, I don't want to drag you into this. I need to leave now. What do you mean you need to leave? Walter, wait, stop. I love you more than anything, Nora. Walter, wait. W Walter, hello? Did he just hang up on me? Yup, he did. Uh, guys, it's an interesting fact of uh, about dialogue. It's, uh, when Walter was talking, basically, at the beginning it was white and then it turned into red. So that means, maybe, gave us a clue that something gets, you know, sketchy about this Walter guy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play this game in normal, as you can see over here. Because uh, playing in hardcore or whatever the other game mode was, I think it's a bit, uh, you know, too much. Uh, we have a diary. Something is wrong with Walter. He says he needs to leave. I had to lead. Uh, I had to. I have to head back to the office and hope he's still there. So our main mission is to go to the office, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was trying this game to see if everything runs smoothly and stuff. Just hope he didn't do anything stupid. And uh, I, I kind of play a bit. I, I got carried away. Not too much. Not too much. But uh, yeah. So anyway, without further delays, basically, if you check all the house, you're not going to really find anything. You can pick up stuff like like this. You can pick it up. You can, with the wheel, you can move it towards you or far away. Or you can simply inspect the item holding the right button. But apart from that, nothing. It's like there's nothing in this house, as you can see. There's, uh, there's the radio. Here's the door. You can go outside. You can actually open all the other doors. Basically, all we can do it simply. Oops. It's simply go downstairs and uh, yeah, exit. Okay, yeah, you can't go over there because basically there's like an invisible wall. Now we're going down this road, like normal. What the? We're gonna be a bit in the darkness. Speaking of darkness, do I have the brightness? Yeah. Okay. Because like without the brightness to the maximum, it's like Minecraft. You can't really see shit. Maybe that's the whole game experience. But I know that you guys want to see, you know. So. I am nice and I give you some brightness. Anyway, uh, we arrive here to this. Okay, for a second, just glitched out. We arrived here to the parking lot of Atlas, I guess. That's that's how it's called. It's actually funny because the cars look so small, but the you know 
character that you're playing especially the police car is way smaller than the other ones looks like toy cars anyway oops yeah it's atlas there you go where is everyone okay here we can find a piece of the brilliant machine diary notes whatever you you can pause it and you know read it if you really want to yeah, we have all the cameras here, all the doors that you can't unlock. Um, we have a pen and a book that you can grab it and, like, that's it, throw it. <laughs> Nothing really interesting. So all we have to do is going upstairs using the elevator. Oh, so apart from that, now we're just gonna wait. So far so good, I mean this game this game is like two or three years old. So I'm expecting you know like nice things from it. It's not like very very old, but let's not say that all games are, are bad, because you know if you ever play like Half-Life or games like that, you know how good they are. Okay, so basically uh Walter is not in his office, we should grab his key card and head to the machine and look for him. Basically the key card is here. That's a nice cigar actually. You can actually take the keyboards and throw them. That's the only thing you can do in this room. Sadly. Actually the inventory thing it's a bit strange, you know, having the photos of of the things. But anyway. Okay, so if we go here, we're gonna take the paper with some codes. That's the thing that we're going to need later. This room, there is nothing really important, if I'm not wrong. Especially the fact that you can't really see any sh anything in here. Um, it's actually curious, because basically maybe you can find things on top of the recording machines that, that's how i call it i guess we have auto savings of course um just normal room actually something that again you can take it and throw it away this tv there you go that's what i'm saying once you enter it and you go outside it's gonna show you something i don't know from where though so that's another detail Another interesting detail that we may have to focus on it, I guess. What? Crab? Oh, that's a lamp. Yeah, we don't really need that one. That's it's kind of big, like that's all you have to do in these rooms. Once you arrive here, it asks you for the code, but we already have it. It's 2309. So, 23. 9 there you go uh <clears throat> all right interesting wait let me just lower it a bit in my headphones but also for you guys i think it's pretty loud as well there you go should be more like better i guess i hope um yeah i was saying that basically that detail of finding the, the journal piece it was interesting, but it was also a bit too easy. Sadly, yeah, I've also been to this part. As you can see here, you see some robots part. A whale. <laughs> different, different things that I don't know. It looks like they don't really make any sense. But I think they do. They they do. Oh my God! What is happening? Why is it shaking that bad? Walter, are you here? No, oh, here. All you can do is press the button. Why is it going that wrong? No. Oh. 
because you were requesting the lift of course but it broke so now we have an alternative way the shockwaves destroyed the crane so I have to find an alternative path to go to the sender and basically that's like all we have to do is just follow the path right now uh, there's nothing you can really do actually like you can't open that door wait let me go up on the ladder now we have to climb upstairs okay again you can do anything here that's where we were supposed to arrive but again we couldn't so we are here we follow the pathway and voila we arrived to the only room we can actually enter so he did he entered into the machine and god only knows where he ended up my only hope is to follow him inside brilliant idiot <laughs> lol okay i'm coming for you walter now you can't leave me here they will show us some codes on the computer screen over here and we have to press the levers in on the wall basically and uh okay. I gotta manually set the security protocols let's see 1a it's actually different from when I played 5a Six A. Yep, that's it. The code is actually different because when I played it was like two on the side and two on the other side. It was like four, five, and then two, three, or something like this. Anyway, anyway, basically now, like from now on, I didn't play anymore. So it's gonna be. Interesting. It's gonna be uh, new for me as well. So let's just enjoy. I was expecting a video to be honest. But that's all we get, I guess. The paper. That doesn't really make sense. And we don't have it into the. Oh, I don't have the journal anymore. I I'm pressing the button and I don't have it. Okay. Voices. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I see a door. I go through the door, I guess. Fine, close it. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's a very strange waiting room, I guess. Okay. Whoa. Okay, he's floating. That's interesting. Oh, here's a door. Wait, what the fuck? That's me. I think it's me, cause oh, so the guy was Walter, and this woman should be Nora. 
So basically, it's like a movie to what happened until now. Whoa, what's happening? Water wasn't going up like this. And I'm stuck. Oh, I think I understood why. So water managed to go to the alternative dimension, but I am stuck in this, I don't know, between realms dimension. So basically, now I have to find my way out from here, I guess. That's, that's how it's like, you know, supposed to be. Okay, yeah, I think, I think this is the way out. have a loading screen so I think it it was okay we are not in Atlas anymore and into the uh, other room what is this place Walter oh, that's the wonder machine to machine. Oh. No. I mean, we can grab them. Damn. Makes noise. We can grab them, but... Apart from that... Oops. Can't really do anything, I guess. So, what am I supposed to do right now? Um Okay, we have a game saved, so that means we're going to the right direction, I guess. Also like follow the red carpet thingy. I don't know, I'm I'm looking for things like that are hidden because I think we have whoa, that's a nice reflection, I guess. We have to find hidden things like journal pieces and stuff. I don't know. Hold E to use, okay. That's it. That's Walter? it. Walter? Oh, what is that? What is that? I saw you. I'm too curious though. I wanna see what is that. Oh, that, that was a rat. Damn it. Whoa! I pick up a torch. Nice, I have a torch. It means that I also have to find batteries and stuff from now on. Interesting, interesting. Can't do anything here. So I guess I have to go this other way. Um, let's go telegraph part one of two. This have this morning the boy was anxious to. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, guys. In case you you wanna read everything, you can just you know pause the video and read. That's. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna like lose, uh, not lose work. I'm gonna waste a lot of time for it. Okay, pick it. Yes. Okay. Machine. Okay. I think I have to use this part here. I knew it. Oopsie, I think I locked myself in. Okay, this now looks kind of creepy. I have a right or left? Right? Left. I'll go left. I go right. That, 
that's uh, easy. I mean, for fuck's sake, guys, save it. Oh, that's a uh, manual saving thing. Okay, nice. Well, apparently, I have to go left. There was a robot thingy. Oh, battery is full. Okay, well, look, pistol. I have an axe, guys. Let's play some Minecraft now. <laughs> Apart from everything, um, okay, it's interesting. I picked up ammo though, don't know where's my inventory, like apart from this one. Well, I think I'm supposed to break everything from here. What's that robot? I think I'm supposed to use the torch, but if you guys see, I mean, if I see, you should see as well. Oh shit. One robot over there. Um. Okay. It's oh, two robots over there. Fine, because I pick up some pistol ammunition, but I can't really use it, you know, because I don't have a pistol yet. An elevator. Maybe that's. I, I saw there's something on the left. The lift in the main hall. Hell, well, the lift in the main hall is not working. If I can restore the power, then perhaps I can use it to reach the surface. Seems to be missing power. I mean, of course, you just said it. Um, exit. Okay. But I don't think it's going to be this easy. You know? So, for not going to, right where the robots are, we are going this way. I see some levers over there. Over there. Uh, grab, grab, grab. Nothing really interesting here. That's a battery. That I can take. Soda machines. What is this? Sulfuric acid. Nitric acid. Okay. Have sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Like I have a lot more if I want. Also, when I find batteries, I shouldn't really pick them. Because uh, I can't store batteries apparently. I can just... Nah, bro. Are you fucking shooting me? But if you want to live longer than five minutes, you should probably get the hell out of that. Oh, hello, bro. The elevator needs power. The steam machine through the door underneath me are the only hosts. Who are you? Hey, wait, wait, come back. Let's rest it over. Maybe I can find something to remove the rust. Nitric or sulfuric? No?
Something to remove the acid. Oh, more pistol. Pistol rounds. Can I go over here? Of course I can. Uh... Good for treating rust. Phosphoric acid. Oh, I have to... There you go, I knew it. And nitric acid. Boil them. <clears throat> Aye. No? H3OP. The sulfuric acid and apatite. Or whatever the fuck it's called. So it's sulfuric. Oh, that's the only one I need actually. And I need to find the apatite, apatite, apa, whatever. There you go, I have here. Boric, heavy water, ammonia, and apatite. Apatite or ap apatite, whatever the fuck it's called. Sounds a lot like uh, apatite, you know, like when you're hungry. Anyway. <laughs> okay, putting the ingredients. I need this one. And sulfuric. Wait, bro. Bro. Said and sulfuric. Now we keep gas. Nothing should explode. There you go. Now I have the rust thingy. It's nice because it's actually like a puzzle game as well. My battery is still full. Well, I acquired. Anyway, though, I don't have to like walk close to the things. Thank. It's actually nice. It's actually a nice game. Um, I really wonder if you can create like tanks. You know what I want to say? Uh, rust remover. Nice. Like, I don't know, maybe some explosives or shit. I know. Uh, I have. I don't have a chemistry degree, so. Maybe you can, I'm not gonna lie. But who. But who knows? Anyway, um. Let's see, let's see. Bro, that was a full box and you only gave me two. Come on, that's. That's fake. The battery is full. Well, I think that I can go down here. And just follow the path. Because I can't really see anything else. Can I go down here? No. Can I go up? Nope. There you go. So let me just follow the path. More piece of rounds. Pour me blues. There you go. I can't use it right now. Okay, I got it. I don't know if you can. Anyway, let's doink, 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 doink. I love it. I actually love smash things up. Smashing things up, sorry. I acquired a tinder sticks. Okay. Anything else here? No. I have more things going on this way, so let me just try everything I can. Water. That means water. Right? What is this? Coal. Basically, I'm pouring coal over there, right? Oh, wait. I think I know. Easy. No. Oh, the water is already poured. So it means that I should have steam right now. Ouch. 
Yeah, let's go. These things are moving. Let me go back here. Oh, is my health regenerating? Regenerating like by itself. Hopefully. Jump. Easy jump, bro. Easy jump. I am the best. Anyway, more ammo. Oh, apparently, I'm full. Okay, so. Damn, this being very, very fast, actually. Yeah, I think I have to go back and power the elevator. So now there should be power. Hello! Come. Rescue to heal. No health vial left. Okay. Good, so I have to. I don't know. I think I have to find the place though. Because without that. I need. It's kinda hard, you know. It's kinda hard, it's kinda hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hard. Okay. Oh, load. There you go, my boy. Take it out. <clears throat> Reload. Oh, yeah. Pam, 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 pam. Pam, pam, pam. Anyway, no entrance. Bitch, please. I have an axe. And that's my only entrance I have, so get the fuck out. Give me the pistol. Pam. Pam. Bro, this is actually bullshit. This is actually bullshit. You can't tell me that. It takes me like five rounds. Oh. Takes him more than that. He did. Okay, I have more ways to go, I guess. So let me see where I want to go. Oh, just a lab. There was before. Okay. That's where I came from. Can I go underneath? Nope. Okay, fair enough. Wait, you're telling me that I can't jump over here? Bro, come down. But I think I, I can't go over there. I'll be sure about it. There you go, like this. Place it down slowly. Jump on it. And jump again. Easy. Nope. Wrong button. Wrong button. Hello? Somebody there? A human voice? Hello? Uh, it's you. You made it up the elevator. Congratulations. Who are you? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Because, <laughs> you know, you came... Here, not the other way around. Well, I'm, uh, I'm just a traveler. Basically. Uh, huh. uh, well. Okay, uh, Oswald Journal. I'm gonna read it. Post the video, guys. Because I'm gonna read everything at the end when I have time. Right now, I just wanna enjoy the game. After saving your life, I kind of expected a, just a, a tad more information. Okay, 
uh, I, I come from a different place, and I'm, I'm just here to look for someone who arrived here just before me. Where am I actually going? Because I wanted to go down the other way. I have some bad news, though. Nobody's come here in over 20 years. Fuck, I think I, I, I fucked the piece. I wanted to go back there to see what what we had over there. Well, maybe then you just missed him. Maybe you just... I mean, you can hardly miss the machine growling and shaking the whole block. Hasn't been doing that for a long time, you know. Listen, you're in danger here. Be for the best of you to leave this building first. I'll tell you more outside. Twenty years. Something is not right here. Or something is not right. Oh, I think I understood more. No? Okay. I think when we were stuck into the that dimension, we were actually stuck between you know time and space. So basically we missed a lot of time on normal hurt, I guess whatever you wanna call it. Um I still wanna know what was on the other side. I came here. I, I came here like an idiot. I'm not gonna lie, because I thought it was you know like a secret path that you get. What? No. Okay. But apparently, I would just. Well, in this case, I don't know. Maybe this whole path is gonna take me back where I was supposed to be. I guess. I hope. Okay, so now I am somewhere. I have no idea where though. Oh, on the other side of the map. Game saved. Yep, maybe we had something over there in that room if we were able to go. And I just lost it. Nice. Uh what we have here. I'm in some sort of cafe. This music is creepy as hell. A little aid to calm you down. Uh, you're welcome, by the way. But you know that. I'm not sure if the music helps or makes it worse. Nice! <laughs> we can play our own music. Just not now, please. Atlas, okay, citizen of ha Hakavik, kids. My disappointment to run the ongoing attacks that we experience. Okay, so something happened to this city. I mean, clearly, as we can see. Wait, is this the other. No, I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? Like, do I have anything to have anything to do, or just nothing here? Nope. I hear something accelerating. Some. I'm fine. Use it. Oh, there are drawers. I can't. Fuck's sake. Uh. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I lost that part forever. Well, fuck it. Let's see what we have here. And scene. So, yeah, I think we're right to the end of that scene. But what it matters. Let's see. I just put a book in the library of what happened. I think I have to go upstairs here. Oh yeah, now I have the door back. It's still the same thing. Now I can save the game again. So basically that's the only time you can actually save the game. It's either here or in-game if you explore a lot. Um... I don't think we have anything else use. Well, yeah, just paper. There are a lot of books and stuff. I, I don't know what that means, guys. Don't really know what that means. There you go. All the pages are like this. So I think I have to go here again. Okay, let's see what what is behind these doors. And then when we actually start, you know, in the normal dimension, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to end up the first episode there, okay? Because I've been already recorded for a long time. Yeah, I knew it. This thing is going to, like, explain you what happened until now. Or something. Hmm. So apparently water, water came back to the normal dimension. And he claimed a throne. That's what you want to try to tell me. Well, as you can, as you saw over there, I was stuck in time. Uh huh. So maybe it was just a trap for me to, like, to block me between time and space. So that he can go back and, I don't know, claim all the powers and stuff. Walter! Walter! Well, I think... Exactly. How did you expect me to find him? You're just attracting more of the machines that way. Well, I'm all open for suggestions, Mr. Hidden Microphone Man. You see, the building on the hill, where all those cables lead to, that's the town hall. Well, it used to be. And? Just go there. It, it, it's safe what happened? on the hill. And you might find information about your missing... What was the name? Walter. Walter Rebel. Right. Uh, and don't die, please. I'm actually starting to enjoy our conversations. Nice. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the first episode of Industria. I hope you like it as much as I did, because I love this kind of single players with a nice story. I'm not going to say anything else. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. A share will be much, much, much appreciated. And uh, a comment, like, let me know your thoughts and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you for the next episodes. That they may be very, very soon, because I love this game. See ya. Alright, guys, so I think I'm going to make some bonus clips. One of them will be the fact that you remember when we fought the two robots here, and there was a guy that actually shot the robots. Um, 
yeah here we had a health vial so we could have actually have one and actually heal ourselves and uh, i just missed it and because you know i'm not gonna play the game from here all the way to the back we're not gonna have it but it's nice to know that i uh you, you can find the vials that's the last bonus clip um i think i can rest in peace because the door that i wanted to explore you know it was locked so Yes, I didn't lose anything. We didn't lose anything like from the story. So let's go ski.